Look at my hair this morning. It's a very windy start to the day, as you can tell. Oh, autumn's arrived, hasn't it? Autumn has arrived. I've got the coat back on, I've got the jumper on. It's blowing a hoolie. Did you get thunder and lightning on Sunday night? I think it was Sunday night. That was something spectacular. My goodness, it was absolutely exploding here in the sky. Um, but oh, sleep so well when there's thunder and lightning. Like, I woke up to it and was like, oh, it's exciting. Gone, out like a light again. Just love it so soon. Same with the wind. Like if it's a really noisy weather night, like heavy rain or wind, I can hear you. Just murdering her tongue. Um, sleep so well. I sleep so well. And obviously now it's a bit cooler at night as well. It's lovely. I just, yeah, I'm going to start moaning about the weather soon, I'm sure. The wind especially. Um, anyway, welcome to my Tuesday. I'm about to chuck these guys out. Oh, one thing before I get onto that horse talk. Um, if you choose to eat meat, uh, I have come across such a brilliant recipe. You probably guys already know it because I'm like the least chefy cook type person you'll ever come across. But I did see it on Facebook once and it was for gammon. And literally it's the simplest like slow cooker gammon recipe. It's just gammon with brown sugar. And oh my goodness, it tastes really good. <laughs> it tastes amazing. So I've gone and shoved that on this morning. I've been organized so that I've got gammon for supper. I love it when I'm organized. But let's get these guys chucked out because they're getting really grumpy. In fact, I'm going to go move their fence first before I chuck them out. Move their fence, give them some new grass, chuck them out, get on with the mucking out and get to work. Morning, Coop. My normal look like I've been through a hedge backwards style. It's very trendy, very trendy indeed. Um, oh gosh, the wind was really whistling through my ears mucking out. It actually gave me a little bit of a headache. Um, and I haven't finished mucking out, which really annoys me first thing in the morning. I, I just seem to spend forever moving fencing and changing rugs and so on but worst of all today i've just remembered i've got a death ride later <laughs> strong words i know but i've got a mare to ride who's naturally quite lively and a bit of a tank and quite a severe bucker when she wants to be not very often but when she wants to you're coming off and obviously it's the beginning of she's a hunt mare and it's the beginning of the season so she's naturally on her toes anyway and I just remember she's being clipped before I ride her this morning which I'd have been like oh great you know never mind but the fact it's so windy today it's just going to get straight up her tail I'm just thinking Ooh. also they asked me like oh would you go and take her to the fields I'm thinking absolutely not in this weather no way I want to survive today so wish me luck on that one but first up I've got a pony to ride which was far nicer in this weather so I've wimped out. <laughs> We're going for a, for a safe road hack rather than going for a canter with a very freshly clipped Rosie here. Um, honestly, as a teenager, I wouldn't have thought twice about it. So today I've got a really simple pole layout in a figure of eight, which is brilliant for helping improve your horse's engagement. If you enjoy competing in your dressage, you may well have had a judge's comment such as more engagement needed or lacking engagement. It's quite a common judges comment on a dressage test sheet and it's something we're always striving to improve with our horses now when we look at horse engagement we want to see our horse taking a little bit more weight behind more sit the hind legs coming through and under them more also that the horse is kind of bending that hind leg joints and this helps to improve more impulsion it's also a great way to improve your horse's self-carriage and if we want to look like whole hester we need to have our horses in more self-carriage this means that we can carry our hands in front of us and our horse stays in balance so here's a little plan as you can see there are raised curved poles on each end of the figure of eight and then across the diagonal you've got short striding poles and long striding poles so I'll be honest, I'm not sure Corporal I did this exercise justice today. He wasn't really down for it. He just wasn't in the mood. It was really windy. It kept raining. It's not my best filming because I had to put my phone quite a distance away from my arena so I could try and fit in the whole exercise. It just, we just were having one of those days. Why this exercise is so good for improving your horse's impulsion is because each set of poles sort of does a different thing. So one of the curved sets of poles was raised so in helping the horse to have more lift helping with suppleness but because each set of poles did a different thing that is a great way to improve your horse's engagement because one minute they might be in quite an open forward trot the next minute they're having to sit back on their hocks and collect because they've got to do the poles that are short and mixing it up like that really 
fires up your horse's hindquarters. It really gets them sitting. It really helps improve that impulsion. And you can mix it up. You can make it as big. You can have as many poles as you want. But for me, like you have to be on the ball as a rider because everything comes up pretty quick. So, you know, you'll be doing the raised curved poles at one end. Suddenly you're going across the diagonal again and you're having to open your horse's stride up before then collecting them back again to do the next curved poles. And obviously with curved poles, you can do the kind of inside line, which is quite short, or you can do the outside line, which is obviously much more open. And then, you know, straight back into a forward trot or back into a collected trot. The constant changing within the pace is what helps your horse's engagement. This is one of those exercises that looks so simple until you ride it and then you realise it's quite a bit harder. Now, it's extra hard on my arena because it's quite tight in there. So if you want to make it easier, use a bigger arena, have more space that will give you more time. If you want to make it harder, keep it tight, add more poles. Now, for me, there was so much going on with this exercise. I had to make sure that I didn't lose Corporal through his outside shoulder, especially on those curved lines. I kept him balanced that I made sure that he stayed straight over the poles, that he stayed soft over his back. But what this exercise did create was loads of power. It creates created lots of impulsion, expression within his movement. He was so uphill because he was so engaged. He was really sitting and using his hind quarters. And that was because of the different stride lengths of the poles, the curved lines helping with his suppleness, moving on to these open poles that would open the stride up before then shortening him back up again. All that helps with your horse's engagement and he looks fab actually like I say it felt quite messy when I was riding through and I was thinking this is not good this is not good but when I watch it back and I see the expression he's got over the paws I'm like wow go coop morning guys it's Wednesday it doesn't my hair it doesn't sound too bad right here because I'm right in the head oh it's a windy start to the day I thought yesterday was windy enough today a whole nother level Shut them out. I've been um and ahhing this thing, but let's shut them out because it's just it's just not very nice that it's gonna rain as well. But Sienna seemed fairly adamant she needed to go out, so I thought, right, whatever, go out. I'm hoping the fencing's gonna stay up. As you can see it's still starting to bend. And annoyingly under there it's stone, so the stakes don't go in very well. Um, I don't really want her escaping and then getting in with Billy and Can't cope. Yeah, well, I'd have that back right now. I, I regret moaning. I should have that back. <laughs> it's not cold, but it's just blinking windy. Reckon I need a new job. <laughs> I need a new career. Oh, gosh. Revolting. Hey Coco, it is absolutely revolting. I'm going to finish the vlog there guys. What a filthy day. Absolutely horrendous. Poor horses. Anyway, they all look pretty happy. In fact, all three of them are eating, so they're not too bothered by the rain, but it is absolutely pouring down. As you can see, um, Bill's about to go for a hack. Lucky Bill's. I'm going to get everyone in now actually, just yeah. Get some fleeces on them and warm them up a bit. Um, at least they've been out for a little while. I thought the wind was meant to be dying down. Not sure I'm um, getting that feeling at all.